Headaches are one of the most common pain complaints seen by health practitioners. Now headaches can be coming from muscle knots in your back and in your neck and I'll show you how. This trapezius muscle here has muscle knots in it which refer pain up the back of the neck and out to the shoulder and this one here refers up to the back of the neck but also there's upper trapezius here that refers pain up the back of the neck and to the temple with a temporal headache. The sternomastoid muscles also refer pain into your head. You can see here these muscles refer pain to the back of the head and into the face and into the front of the forehead here, giving you a frontal headache. Now that you know where those muscle knots are, I'm going to show you how you can safely self-treat with a tennis ball in a stocking. We use the stocking so that you can position the ball. If you're going to have to be doing this, you're probably not going to get the ball in the right position and it will fall. So we use the, the stocking, like so. And you lean against the wall. Now you hold the tennis ball on there until the pain starts to ease off. Don't wiggle the tennis ball. Once the pain is eased off, then you move on to another spot. These crosses are the spots that you use the tennis ball on. You go up along the spine and along the shoulder blade. But then because you can't use the tennis ball on upper trapezius, these lines here indicate where you use a pincer grip like this. Until the pain eases off, and then you move along to the next one. Once you've pressed on all of these muscle knots and finished off with upper trapezius, it's then time to get very brave and tackle your sternomastoid. Now in people with neck pain and headaches, these muscles will feel like cooked sausages, when in fact they should feel like raw sausages. So what we do is we use a pincer grip to grip the muscle. Do not grip the skin because that won't get you anywhere. You must grab the muscle and then apply pressure. Very small amount of pressure will give you a lot of pain. So just once you feel the pain, let the pain ease off and then maybe increase the pressure. Wait for that pain to ease off and then apply a bit more pressure. Again, next spot, following the same pattern. Now after you've done all that pressing, it's really important to do the stretching. Once all the muscle knots have been pressed, they have to be made long so that you eliminate those trigger points. The stretches you do are very simple. It's called a chest stretch, just like this and you take a deep breath in and out. On the out breath, you'll feel the muscle release. Do two breaths. The next stretch is for trapezius. You put your hands behind your head and you bring your elbows together. Two breaths. The next stretch is another chest stretch. You must stretch regularly during the day, at least every couple of hours, so that the muscle knots get the hint that they have to hit the road. Now another stretch that you can do is this very simple upper trapezius one. Now you'll feel the stretch all the way up here and it feels great. And again, two breaths. And then the same on the other side. Once you've done the upper trapezius stretch, then you need to do the sternomastoid stretch. Now this stretch could not be any easier. You can do this sitting at the traffic lights or waiting in the queue at the supermarket. And you will not look strange doing this one. You just simply turn your head to the side, take a deep breath in and out. Breath in and out. And then repeat it on the other side. You must also remember that you've got to do those stretches that I've just shown you every hour or two. Now once you've done all this self-treatment, you will find that you've got a bit of a post-treatment pain or that you feel a bit sore the next day. This is completely normal. Take your painkillers and use your hot water bottle and keep stretching. And what you'll find, if it's just a really simple um, myofascial pain, is that by the end of two days that you're starting to feel a lot better. 
After a few days, if you find that your symptoms are the same or they've worsened a little, then please don't hesitate to go and see your doctor or feel free to come and see me in the clinic.